Okay, you just saw the. Hang on. Okay, you just. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> you just saw the 1792 full perf review. Now we are, let's do, let's hand us glasses. Stop doing it, gonna break it. Now we're gonna go head to head with what we think. Oh, I need more. Yeah, go ahead and pour, I got, ah, you poured me a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. This is the contender. Don't reach across me. I'm reaching across. Benchmark, foolproof. This is a $25 or less bottle, depending on where you pick it up. Yep. Can it stand up to a so-called juggernaut? I'm the juggernaut, bitch! Cause that 1792 really... <laughs> Come on, Brad, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we're making... That 1792 it. really is. I mean, it's a juggernaut. I mean, it's just yes. known. It is well known. so freaking good. Let's let's do something to indicate what's what, okay? So, we're gonna cut to a, a we're gonna lay out something. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. there we go. All right, All right. movie magic. That's you know no, 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 movie magic. magic. All right, the 1792 is in green. This is where our glasses will set. And the benchmark will not have a piece of top. Oh, hey, by the way, if you like what we're doing, uh, hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when we're dropping new content every week. So the point of this is to compare a budget bourbon with a juggernaut. At least the 30 to $40 difference between these bottles. So we've already reviewed this. Uh, if you want to see it, check it out, little card right here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and try these and, and see which one we kind of like. I, honestly though, I can't really say that I'm going to be totally shocked. This is the first time we've put it head to head against something else like this. Sure. Blinds change everything, head to head changes things a lot of times because, you know, you're going back and forth and you're actually getting to taste those differences. What are we trying first? Let's go with the lowest proof point. <gasps> but we can't because they both the same. What are you doing? 1792? I mean, let's just go with the juggernaut first. That oh. smells like a county fader. It's, Why does that smell like a funnel cake? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it does smell like a funnel cake. It's that vanilla, it's the, the wheat, it's so not sweet. the wheat. It doesn't have wheat in it. What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> it's got wheat. Gosh, that smells so good. Oh, are we dinking? We're gonna go ahead and dink. It's, it's just great. Why is that so good? Uh, smoky, oaky, sweet vanilla, caramel, a little yeah. bit of brown sugar, a little bit. I mean, it's just classic, classic bourbon notes. Turn up to 100. Turn up to 100. These go to 11. We're gonna cleanse the old palates, or try to at least with Wu Tear. That butterscotch. Jesus, man, that. <sighs> It's just straight up candy. I said it before. I, work, I used to work at Dairy Queen. This is the butterscotch. You dip the ice cream cones in the butterscotch and it hardens. And then you turn it upside down, you know what I'm saying, out the drive through window. That's that. Why does this come out of a $25 bottle? Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna say on the nose, Damn, they Benchmark has it hands down to me. This smells, 1792 smells great. I love that butterscotch note. So there's a, there's a dusty note in the 1792. <laughs> it's almost like walking into that Rick house. When we were up there for on the bourbon trail, you Pause. walk into that Rick house, that's what it reminds me of. This it smells great. This uh, benchmark smells like uh, a butterscotch factory. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> this smells like you walked into a candy shop. Take you to the candy shop. I let you the knowledge. Go in one of those candy shops in Gatlinburg. Yeah, it's just full of candy. It's, it's diabetes. Like, yeah, where they're making the fudge and the different candied apples and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff back behind the counter. Yeah, their arch nemesis is Wilford Brimley. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> one of these days, that we're going to break good. one of these glasses. That was really good. Okay. Mm. That's yeah. interesting because the 1792 foolproof is, it burns a lot more. This doesn't burn as, as much, but I think it has more of that candy flavor. And if you like yeah. that, then you're... Congratulations, you get to spend less money for a foolproof than you do this. Yeah. Uh, I think this has more of a mature flavor, as in it's got more of a distinctive bourbon flavor. This just tastes like candy, and there's nothing wrong with that. This is delicious, and it might be my pick. Very distinctively different, and this is that butterscotch note comes through. I've made my... <laughs> Yeah, you can do this. Uh, we'll it you went it. down the wrong tube. Yeah, we can get you through it. It's okay. Don't worry about that. <laughs> right, well, Ryan's already dying. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get you. I, I, Shut up! I I'm doing my bit. I'm talking. Story. I'm talking. I gotta pick benchmark. Why? Because there's a huge price difference in the two. I'm not discounting this any bit at all. Because this is mm. delicious. 
This is just purely based on price. If I'm looking for something that I'm just gonna sit on the shelf, I'm gonna pull it off, like on the weekends, a Friday night pour. Sure. Friday night pour, a uh, friends come over, that kind of thing, then I'm gonna go foolproof. I'm, I'm willing to spend that little bit of extra money. If I'm getting a daily-ish kind of sipper, I'm going benchmark all day long. This is so it's good. It's more available too. Foolproof, is, the availability it gets pretty sketchy. It gets real sketchy. Because if I'm not mistaken, that is, that's a um, limited release throughout the year. So it's kind of when you see it, grab it. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you won't see it for a little while. In general, as an everyday, I would go with this, and you know we're proof wars. They're super and inexpensive, I, high proof bourbon. Yeah. That tastes delicious. Yeah. All right. So what have we learned? Um, Twenty five dollars goes a long way in getting you a really good high proof bourbon. Yeah. Is it better than seventeen ninety two full proof? No. It's is it in the same league? Yes. But like what you said, it's based on what well, you're looking yes. for. This right here, inches above this, just barely because of the price. That's value right there. Value. Bottom line, if you like foolproofs and you like value, pick both of these up if you get the chance because you're not gonna regret it. They're super delicious. Thank you guys for watching. 